If you want to get smooth panning shots, but you don't have the budget or the space for a full-size motorized slider, then this cheap battery powered dolly might be exactly what you need. I'm going to show you how to use it, how to overcome some of its issues, and a simple hack to make it go ultra slow. This little motorized dolly is one of those products that gives me a result that's worth far more than its price tag. I can't say exactly who it's manufactured by because it's sold under many different brand names, but I'll put some links below to the one I got. It has a single drive wheel on one side and two free wheels on the other with very smooth bearings. A single button starts the wheel turning at a fixed constant speed and it's powered by a single CR2 battery which is included in the box and replacing it will set you back about three to five dollars. To reverse the direction of the motor you just pull out the battery, reverse it and pop it back in. There's a standard quarter inch screw that lets you attach your own camera head I'm just using one of those basic ball and socket type ones that's about 10 bucks on Amazon. When I first got this, the first thing I noticed was that when using it with a small point and shoot, I had no problems, but with a heavier mirrorless camera and lens, I was seeing some pretty bad vibration. A simple fix was to remove the rubber tires for a much more stable video. As long as the surface is flat, I don't get any slipping and the result is rock solid. You can use this to get nice smooth tracking shots or to dolly in and out of your subject. The angle of the two freewheels can be changed so you can move the camera in an arc or do full circles as large or as small as you want. It takes a bit of trial and error to set the angles just right so it goes exactly where you want it to. But once you get the hang of it, you can get some pretty nice results for such a small low budget device. I've used this in my review videos quite a bit over the last year and it makes close-up shots much more interesting for the viewer. A dolly like this is really designed for strictly tabletop use, and that means it's limited to indoor work. But with a few scraps of wood and an old mop shaft, I rigged up this platform that lets me use it outdoors a little bit on a tripod too. One limitation with this model is the single speed. Sometimes I'd like the option to go slower. To get around that, I came up with this hack of sorts. I bought some n size batteries, which unlike the 3 volt CR2 batteries this is designed to run on, N cells are only 1.2 volts, and these ones are rechargeable, and you can get a pack of 4 for under $10. Running the dolly at less than half voltage means it moves at less than half speed. This also reduces vibration. The only problem is, the end batteries aren't exactly what you'd call a perfect fit. But no worries, a bit of electrical tape wrapped around it, and there you go. You've got an ultra slow, ultra smooth, low cost pocket dolly. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.